destroyed. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Midnight Zones. I am your host, Kenny Eastlick, and straight, straight, just talk to Stark. Okay. What up, Stark? Somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought Mr. Bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It's comfy. It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored. <laughs> but tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Uh, let's see. There we go. Is okay. this magic a threat to your new technology? I might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed. Let's see. But you and the doctor seem to work well together. Oh, no need to put a label on things. The guy is good at making sense of this madness every now and then. He's not talking to his cape. <laughs> yeah, that's just about the suit. This new version is a technological marvel. Ah. <laughs> Impact resistant carbon composites, some patent pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. <laughs> and hey, the built in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. So it is a marvel then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Dope. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Let's see. Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! <laughs> but on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic cats. <laughs> What's so bad about a magic cat? Was it suspiciously elusive, even for a cat? Actually, yes. Thought I was going crazy there for a second, but clearly I'm still firing on all cylinders. It just poofed in next to me out in the yard. Small, black, furry. You kitty kitty. Thing. Probably some kind of shape shifting monster knowing this place. Let's see. What sort of things are you doing in here? Building, oh, making, You're awesomeness. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. Sounds insane, but sometimes it's easier to just go with it. Hmm. Okay. So, why not magically create a way through that symbiote shield? Have you ever known it to work that way? We can't just wish upon a star here. We need to know what we're making first and put together the right components. Otherwise, I'd have already whipped up Strange a new personality. Let's ask Tony about himself. <laughs> an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. The tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. I was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then but... Day, fortune shined on me form up some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. <laughs> I guess we have all had difficult childhoods here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't tell you how hard it was to memorize all that at Skrull Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. Or am I? Are you a Skrull? Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Okay. 
Let me talk to Strange. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? What's that rift thingy? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? Let's see. <laughs> Wrong side of the grave. However, I do feel some grogginess, a tinge of nausea, sense of memory loss upon time of passing, watery or itchy eyes, common side effects when one is pulled back into the light. Believe me, I know. If any other symptoms arise, you can always tell me. Particularly if you develop a craving for brains. I have a cream for that. Gross. In any event, I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. I'm not a scholar, Strange. This is true. I'd rather stand down a horde of rampaging Lilin than face one of Agatha's mathematics puzzles. Sacred or not, geometry be damned. I like that. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't my least favorite requirement in pre-med. Still, if only I had studied harder, I would have reached some deeper understanding. Man, <laughs> geometry be outcome. damned. We will alter this outcome, Doctor. On that, we most certainly agree, Hunter. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. Hmm. A creature on the roof. You have run into it before. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. Spider-Man is the one who saved us. Good old Spider-Man. It sounds like Spider-Man is Venom's nemesis. Maybe he has some insight. Of course. I have no doubt Spider-Man will prove to be an invaluable asset in the ongoing fight against both Venom and Lilith. Um... Tell me about your Sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. Also, watch out for side quests if they have them and do those. Encountered a variety of minor wards and protection On my spells. time. The Sanctum Sanctorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of Lilith. Let's see. Will yeah. the wards ever provide the same protection that they had? It may be possible to undo the damage, but now that a weakness has been exposed, I'll have to rethink my approach entirely. Tony did offer a military-grade laser protection grid. Should I be so inclined to go that route? Uh... <laughs> the Scarlet Wanda Witch. Come into your care. Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell there was an accident on the abbey grounds not long ago 
involving Agatha. That must have been some accident. Agatha had been teaching Wanda, hoping she would learn to control her immense but very raw power. As their training progressed, Wanda was encouraged to push herself further. Okay. Eventually, she pushed too far. I mean, it's your fault for telling her to go farther, so... Let us talk later. Just saying? Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. What is this green light over here? Inspect. Interesting. Orb of Agamotto. We are for Saint of Scar, blah, 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 blah. Cloak. Curious. Uh. Intriguing. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Oh, Moon Knight, but Moon Knight's not in the game. Twenty-two tarot cards. Something. You're, you're just randomly spouting stuff. Tony's armor. High gloss. Okay. The star. And that's Nova. Surrounded by stars. Okay. Oh, the forge is right there. Gamma coils analysis. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at Yield Demon Hunting School, so I'm just going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This I don't. stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra <laughs> doesn't seem to mind. They're using it to get stronger. Yeah, where's exactly. Nick Fury? A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. I Thank fought him. With a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here. I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line. I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Yes, sir. Uh. Ah. Wait, how do I access the super link? Oh, right here. Okay. Uh, okay. Who keeps putting the toilet paper the wrong way? Let's see. My way is the only right way. Yard. So who won? It's a, it was a tie, and then went back down. It's right. Whatever keeps Ebony from turning toilet paper into confetti. I don't get it. Okay. See you later, Dr. Spooky. Uh, ah. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? Uh, yes. I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. I'm not lazy. Everyone loves you when you are dead. Tell me, does that mean you are half love? Burn. <laughs> she didn't describe you as a snarky jackass, but he. <laughs> all right, Tony Stark Jr., ask your questions. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Uh... Why 
invited you join. Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. Is that all? No, but that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. Yes, yeah, I sir. Trust you. I'll have more to say. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? Hmm. Yo, know, honestly, I know very little about all these people. So I'll just go down the list. She's youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart, and that's why we let her. Who else? What about Robbie? Oh, he's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people, easygoing. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Yes, sir. Who else? What do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? Yeah. She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. That's all. I can care less. let people in. Which feels like it. Pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Anyone else? I don't really care about caretaker. Nobody else. Sure. Can I ask about you? I guess. Uh... How did you become a Dampier? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Sure. What the? Oh. Upgrade abilities. Hero possesses two copies of an ability that can combine and create a new more power. Ooh. Whip. Hey, just upgrade my whip. Oh, I don't want to talk to Captain Marvel. I want, I want this thing first. Give me that. Fine, I'll talk like to you. you out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. Uh, you can call me Captain Marvel. <laughs> Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Go away. Not gonna lie. Go in a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well... Not so much fish as that ginormous, invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the sanctum. Every lock has its key. True. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. If my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes, you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra. They've got to know the way inside. Steve Talking to you bores me. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them, if need be. A uh, quantum... what? You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Thank you. Oh, she did. Oh, she, she, she can teleport, apparently. I don't wanna. Fine. Hey. Whatever. So.
Where did everybody go? Hmm, what's this? Oh. It's probably for whatever you had to chill at the beach. We'll lead you off, Rendo. Can I talk to you? Can't wait to pound some steel. Gonna glue my lats three times as big. That's what Robbie sounds like every time he hits the weights. Cool. Cool. Just just gonna walk away because that was kinda weird, just saying. Ooh, more stuff. Shiny stuff. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The gamma signature is sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say gamma? <laughs> gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature <laughs> struggling there, Sark? is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just Sorry, we're still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? Really, was that necessary to kick it like we that? should be able to track this new gamma signature to its source then, right? I do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates <laughs> now. Tony and his acronyms. Enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes Both. sense. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. <laughs> well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Don't tell me what to do. I'm liking the music. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. Yeah, sounds about right. The two of us on the mean streets of New York? Evildoers beware. Well, it's not my place to say, but if I were running an artifact smuggling ring, I think I could find a little better inspiration than some kind of Prohibition-era bootlegging operation. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just thought of this. I've been essentially dead for 300 years and I know what a gremlin is it's that been a long time does not I've been involved in any major undertakings like does not uh, make sense it's nice to have a full house again but we're not playing poker regardless of what mr. Stark thinks the mirror table was guiding our hand reliably for centuries before the advent of computers Okay, it tells me story mission. And... It was just recently that the Hudson Yards development restaurant. Uh, yes. Okay, that's a dope walk. Let's see. Trench coat, sunglasses at night, brooding personality. Something tells me these midnight warehouse raids are pretty normal for you. That's creepy. Oh, right, sure. Only maybe not. Don't worry. This is a different portal to a different location. Okay. Ah. Too bright. Signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse. Oh, I can run. Dr. Banner through from Avengers Tower. I probably should have listened to her finish speaking. Just saying. I wonder how they'll do when they introduce the DLC characters, you know? Deadpool, Storm, Venom, Dr. Morbius. Of this place. 
You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Hey, I know that guy. Smartest fanatic in the room. It's a small room. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. I need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. Neither do I. Oh yeah, sure, throw that somewhere, injure people. That's real smart. You don't even think. That's why I don't like Captain Marvel. I always considered fast as a bit of a crackpot, but his fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Huh? Oh. Ah. <sighs> sure. Oh, I was hoping he would have fell. Let's see. Just, just kick that guy. Oh, I thought he was going to fall. Hmm? What's this thingy? Does it go boom? Cool. Oh, and I can. Hmm? Oh, and I can still attack. Dope. Yeah, that guy. Oh, cool. Say bye bye. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Centuries ago. Ah. Poor Blade. He's the bullet sponge. That was not my intent, you know. Ooh. Ooh. Don't hate fanatics. That's still not going to end up. Ah, crap. Hey. <sighs> Tactics mode. Time to like quickly assess the entire battlefield. Like. I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. More things than heaven and earth, Horatio. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a resurrected demon hunter, right? <laughs> Overkill. Make them bleed. To make things interesting. Hmm? These fanatics are always the same. Oh, my. Lucky shot. Okay, good. They're leaving Blade alone. Ah! They shot me! Jerks! I just don't know when to quit! But that is all the time I have for this episode. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching. Please hit the like button. If you want to see more of Midnight Suns, be sure to hit the subscribe button to get that notification. And I will see you guys around.